Hi guys, I'm Joe, head baker here at Carl's Bakery. I'm here to walk you through how you're going to bake your lobsters once you get them at home. Uh, we did all the hard work for you. We pulled them, we filled them, so now you just got to bake them. So you're going to receive a box. Inside the box is going to be a cooler. So you take your lid off your cooler, and everything in this cooler should be frozen. So um, you're going to take out your tails. You're going to have two bags of lobster tail cream. Now, these will be frozen, so you want to leave these out at ambient temperature. It'll take about two to three hours for these to defrost. Um, depending on how many tails you're going to bake is going to decide how much lobster tail cream you want to leave out. If you bake half, leave one bag out, freeze the other bag. Same goes for the tails. So, open up your bag of tails. It's very important. A pan this size that'll fit in, in most residential ovens will fit six lobster tails. So you might want to do two pans this size with, par I, I suggest parchment paper because um, there will be some uh, shorting that bakes off of the lobster tails so you don't want to burn the bottom. But very important is, as soon as you get these, when they're frozen, is to lay them out on the pan and let them defrost on the pan because they will stick together if you leave them out in the bag. So you just want to lay them out, give them a lot of space because they're going to grow a long ways. So like I said, if you're not going to bake them all, wrap up the bag, put everything back in the freezer, except for what you're going to use. So they should look similar to this. Now we're going to let these defrost. These should take up near an hour to defrost at ambient temperature. Um, if you planned on baking these later in the evening, you could take these out in the morning, set them up on the pan, put them in the refrigerator. Take them out for about 20 minutes, let them get to ambient temperature, put them in the oven. So we're going to walk these over to the oven and we're going to show you how to bake. Alright guys, so now we're ready to bake our tails, ready to put them in the oven. Now, we have two type of ovens here at the bakery, how we bake lobster tails. We have convection and something that's a little bit more conventional, like the oven you might have at home. If you know you have a convection oven, you want to put these in at 375 for 25 minutes until golden brown. If you have a conventional oven, you want to bake them at 400 degrees for 25 to 30 minutes until they're golden brown. Alright guys, so now our, our tails are out of the oven. So what you're looking for, the tails are going to basically explode. They're going to get they're going to get rounder and they're going to get quite a bit longer from when you originally get them. So that's a good thing. Um, you're looking for a uniform golden brown, the bottom not too dark. That's why I suggest you use the parchment paper. If you use if you bake directly on a pan, the, you're going to get the size and you're going to get the golden brown on top, but the bottom will be a little bit darker and eventually it's going to get a little bit harder as they cool. So once they're out of the oven, the very important part is to make sure you let them cool. Now you can let them cool on a pan. We usually here at the bakery, we take them off and put them onto cooling pans because we're going to fill this with a cream that is basically whipped cream based and it will spoil your cream, make your cream soft. So they need to be nice and cool. If you're going to have these at, at an event, at a party or something, you want to have these at least baked a good hour before you're ready to serve them. Okay guys, now we're ready to fill our lobster tails. Very important. You need to kind of keep an eye on your, on your lobster tail cream. Again, if you know you're going to use these in the evening and you want to start the process in the morning, take your lobster tail cream out, put it in the refrigerator. Don't leave it out. If you're going to be home and you're going to be cooking and you're going to be around, you can leave it out two or three hours and it'll be ready. What I like to do is when the cream is, it starts to get to ambient temperature, squeeze the bag, work it around, make sure there's no ice in there. You can work that liquid, whatever liquid may come out from, from the freezing process will work back into the cream. But do it before you cut the hole to fill your lobster tails. It's very important. So this way you don't have cream all over the kitchen. All right, then your wife yells at you. mug. So now we're ready to fill our tails. Now the first thing we have to do is make the hole. So just take a wooden spoon, you can use scissors, you can use anything with a, a little bit of a, an end to it, and just poke through the, the initial layer. Because basically what we did here is we, we made, we wrapped dough around cream puffs and we have a big empty cavity in there now. It's going to fill our lobster tail cream. So nice and easy so you don't ruin it. Just a little hole. Not so much in the front because your lobster tail cream will run out. So you want to be a little bit on the top. Nice and easy so you don't ruin the lobster tail. 
All right. So now, now we got our bag. We can feel that our cream is, is ready to use. Now we're going to take a scissors, a pair of scissors, and we're going to cut a small hole. Now, the reason why I like to keep the, the hole small is because then I can get the cream all the way into the lobster tail. So, a nice small hole. And then you can always cut it bigger if you need it. And we're going to take the tip of the bag right into the hole and then squeeze. And as you're squeezing, you're pulling the bag out slightly so the cream is all the way into the bottom. And you can feel it. You'll be able to feel the cream go down. And then you'll see the cream up top there. Okay? So again, all the way down, pull out very slightly as you fill the lobster tail. Now, since you did all the work and you baked the tails and you filled the tails, it's only right that you get to check to see if the tails are all the way full. So, how you do that is you break it in half, and there you see you got cream all the way through. And then you got to eat it. All right, guys. Now that we have all twelve lobster tails filled, um, presentation is everything. So, put on a nice platter, however you want to do it, and then a little bit of powdered sugar at the end makes everything nice. Now, this is. One of those things, you use as much or as little as you like. A little bit of sweetness can't hurt. So, we appreciate you visiting carlosbakery.com and enjoy your lobster.